holidays are coming up here, guys. We're in the winter months. You wouldn't know it because it's like 70 degrees here in Charlotte. Absolutely. But with the holidays, we get Black Friday. I have never done Black Friday. Never. Never. never One time and, and that's all. The original Black Friday was cool. Like in the 90s, it'd be one night. You'd go there early, get in yeah. line for whatever you wanted. It was an experience. It was fun. It was kind of like a... It was like a 10 year run there where Black Friday made sense. Now it's like November 1st, Amazon's like Black Friday week. You know, all it's the whole month. Yeah, well, the car dealerships yeah, use Black Friday, Friday all month, month long. long. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what's changed it too, is is you can order something online and it'll be on your front doorstep the next day. So uh, yeah, who's going to go wait in line anymore? Right, exactly. Well, now that's Cyber Monday, right? So so, now, yeah, and so now there's Cyber now Monday. There's Cyber Monday. Yeah. When does when does the Black Friday just go away? It's gone. Like the the idea of there being one day, one sale, get okay. out and get in it, have fun, is over. Like they must have had to do that because everybody was just maniacs on that night. It turned into that. Like you'd see the the visuals of the doors opening and people running in to get their TVs. I think the malls used to stay open 24 hours and everything well, yeah. else. I mean, think about it. You don't buy really albums anymore. Uh, video games, uh, you download. You don't really go and buy a physical video game anymore. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that's just been taken off the market. I saw a great meme that said, Dear stores, we all we all already have gigantic TVs. Can we get cheap groceries this year for Black Friday? <laughs> 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 what if Harris Teeter or Publix had a Black Friday event where you just got in line and got your like carrots for half price? Dude, that would be like those Walmart videos. Yeah. That, that'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> but yeah, Black Friday was kind of like an era. Yeah. And now it's kind of an idea. Like but but in the 90s, for those who weren't around to see it, the okay. stores used to come out and say, we got 10 PlayStations, we got 20 TVs, we be here early, blah, blah, blah. And that's, that's kind of what the, what the whole like, you yeah. know, uh, fear of missing out, the FOMO was like, oh, I got to go get my PlayStation for half off. But then after they sold those 10 for half off, they went to regular price. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of the, that was kind of the hook. And people, it was kind of like a game going to the carnival. Yeah. I mean, think about it now. The malls aren't even that popular no. anymore. I mean, in the no, 90s, not. mall the mall was the place to be. You mm -hmm. know, 80s, 90s. You know, when you were a teenager, you went there for social. Uh, yeah, when you're older, you went there for just the shopping and the, the fun atmosphere. Yeah, it was atmosphere. the first social media. It was just <laughs> going to the mall. Yeah, All everything, right. everything was connected. Now, my mall in my town is completely, not completely dead, but there's more people walking during the mm. day than there are shopping. Mm. When prom came and you could just get on phone, click it, get yeah. it the next day at your door. It's, yeah. I'm fine with that. I think Jeff Bezos deserves every nickel he gets. When oh, I yeah, can go on and on be it. like, I need that. And it's like, yeah, you know, it's just so bizarre how things have become so convenient and in your face compared to what it used to be. And that wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. And that just shows how, how fast technology is. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Is, is taking over. You know, we're all old enough to remember when that wasn't the deal and it was we we're well, fine yeah. everything was but fine. i mean it was like yeah it was like literally you you would go out and and if you go to a place uh, a bar or whatever and your friends weren't there you're like you didn't have a cell phone so you either got on a pay phone and called them directly or you called your answering machine right. to see if they had called you and told you where yeah, they were going to be you're not calling them you're calling their 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 voicemail directly their answer yeah. machine directly and let them know hey we're here right but if and they if they catch that met if they do what you're saying they go and they check their messages oh they're they go yo they're all over it here a big just game of hide and seek <laughs> yeah like, it made me think about how did we ever get anything done with our friends we would have to set everything up in school like in high school it would be yeah. like if there was a party yeah it was word of mouth you know on yeah. Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. And oh, there's going to be a party Friday night. Or there were flyers. You remember flyers? Right, yeah. 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 And then even even then, you had to drive by the location to see if it actually existed. And sure. if it was actually, you know, hitting like a party should. You know, you could tell by, you know, the cars parked on the side of the road. Or or you may drive up through there and it'd be dead. You know, nobody was like, whole, no, this was a fake. And it's just so much. Uh, man, I tell you, it's. Just being like Gen X, that was just, that was so much better than anything. That, right? It's just too easy now to do anything. Sure. 
It's too easy to. Yeah. It's too easy to ghost people. It's too easy to yeah. say, yeah, "I'll be there and don't show up." It's well, I'm weighing my options, you know. Yeah. But back then, it was like, oh, that's that's where everybody's gonna go because right. there were no other options, and there was so. no such thing as boredom, uh, you know. It was oh, like because no. you you were being challenged with with all of that, you know, trying to find out where the party was, where your friends were. And everything. I will say though, if there was social media back then, it would be it obviously would have been a whole lot different. It would be like today, but. Yeah. The amount of things that we did that were never video recorded, yeah. that's a travesty. The amount well, of, true. Uh, oh, the yeah. amount of things that we did, with, whether it's building tree houses or having, uh, you know, uh, capture the flag fights during while we're camping or just, you know, cruising. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Through, through the town looking for things to do <laughs> now it would just be totally videotaped and or oh, yeah. recorded yeah you know. i have to say being a shy guy growing up if i would have had social media and uh texting ability when i was a kid i wouldn't have been quite so shy i mean i it would have been so much easier just to say hey gal you know what you doing tonight you know kind of thing because you're not having to get on your phone in the kitchen where your mom's cooking dinner and call a girl yeah. and you know you know say hey you know what what are don't you doing you friday think, night don't you think that's what made you the man who you are today is that well that's a good question I don't back know. then you had to have the balls yeah to first of all go and get a girl's number Oh, it was and a multi-step multi process. There was nobody saying, oh, no, you got to wait two days. You got to wait three days. You didn't know any of that. You were just like, okay. I, the only reason you waited because you were so scared shitless to call her. Oh, yeah. And then when you finally called her, she you didn't realize she was excited to hear from you. Oh, yeah. See, I never know? I never made that connection. But now, I never realized that they were well, interested she, in actually getting a phone call. She probably is not getting all those. Like it today, social media, you're in the rest with a girl. Her options are unlimited. Yeah. She's yeah. A, she's Absolutely. Unlimited. So yeah. she thinks she's the shit because she's got all of if these. You're, if you're in college today and you've got you, you've got a girl that you like and you obviously you can find her on Instagram, don't even need her number, just DM her. Yeah. The problem is if you live in an NFL or an NBA city, the players are also DMing her. <laughs> that, that never would have happened when we were in high school. No. The only way another guy is going to get with your girl back then was she had to give him yeah. the number. Now it's like, well, I'm keeping my options open, Brady, because I got 4,000 other guys blowing me the fuck Oh, up. I know. Exactly. But back in the day, too, there was no such thing as privacy. I mean, we had one phone. My parents had a phone in their bedroom. You couldn't go in there and get on it. We had one phone that was in the kitchen. And if I wanted to call a girl, I had to dial that number while my mom was in there cooking dinner or whatever. And I would have to stretch that cord as far away into the living room or somewhere yes. that I could, uh, you know, to even talk to somebody. Uh, there was nothing, no, no such thing as privacy at all. Uh, That's what I want to know. Who made those chords? Because they never went out. Like I got a, like oh, yeah. I'll, I'll use a guitar chord. It'll go out after a few months or a mic chord. But those phone chords on those rodeo, rodeo, uh, oh yeah, rotary, rotary phones. You could twist them, stretch them, <laughs> bend them, I, dude. I, I, they would who, never stop. Who thought that they needed that? Like, who was the guy going? Yeah, you know, we should probably make these longer. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> like, I would have that thing stretched out up. so far that it wouldn't stretch. It wouldn't curl back up. It yeah. would be like yeah. laying all the way, going all down, all the way down the wall, and, and six feet. feet across the floor yeah. because it wouldn't footer. go back up. It's gotten yep. stretched so many times. And so. then cordless phones came and changed the game. Even though this was way before cell phones, but you had the yeah. like the Zach Morris brick phone, right. or, or like. Yeah. Yeah. What was the guy from Wall Street who used to carry the big brick phone? Yeah, Michael Douglas. Had Michael then, Douglas. For whatever reason, we thought that you had to extend the antenna. Yeah. Which I don't <laughs> think really was a thing. I, I don't think even... that was just like an ornament, just to make you feel oh, yeah. feel like you're connecting. Like a walkie-talkie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, walkie-talkies were the best. When we were kids, that's what we all wanted for Christmas was just walkie-talkies, oh, yeah. walkie man. That was the deal. <laughs> and then you'd only get two. And then your friends would, you know, then the, uh, the frequencies are all jacked up oh my god you remember mr microphone oh yeah when that came out I, that commercial I posted a, uh, on, on a reel recently i just posted the commercial we're, we're, uh, that may have been what reminded me of it if then you, yeah but, yeah hey good looking we'll be back to pick you up later <laughs> it's like you know and the guy's like you can broadcast it on any fm radio and he's carrying like a book boom box <laughs> and singing and he's like, yeah he's like Oh. It's great for parties. Hey, hey, you want to come <laughs> over and sing a song? Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. 
and he's like, who carries a Mr. Microphone in a boom box? Oh, I, mean, I know. I mean, they're, maybe, they're... maybe guys on the corner preaching or whatever would do that, but. <laughs> <laughs> 